Hello, you are welcome back. So, in this training series, we we'll want to start to design our main interface from the NetBeans IDE 7.1.2. So, just get along with me and you are going to get everything right. So, the first thing we need to do is to launch our NetBeans IDE from the desktop shortcut icon. You can see that launching this particular IDE is faster just because this is not the first time I'm launching the NetBeans IDE. So now this is the interface of the NetBeans IDE and I'm going to start by giving you a series of instructions in order to design our main interface. So we have what we call the projects here. Actually, this is not how my NetBeans ID looks like. If you want it to look like the way it was before, you go to Windows, click on Reset Windows, and it will appear the normal way it is supposed to appear. Whereby we have two columns on this page, this first column and the second column. So you can decide to customize the NetBeans ID the way you like. So just come to this particular sign, minimize window group, click on this, then everything goes to the left hand side. So if you also like, you can also minimize this and that particular navigator goes to the left hand side. And this is how I want to work with my NetBeans IDE. So the next thing I want to do is to create a new project from the scratch. I would say I'll go to file, new project. It's a Java project, don't forget. It's a Java application. Click on next. Let me give it any name I like. I'll name it Staff Management. Staff Management. Click on finish. And Staff Management becomes my project name. As simple as possible. Now, this is Staff Management project. You can see it as a class called staff management classes in java start with capital letter and you see the keyword class before them public class staff management it means any other class in this particular application can access this class don't forget when you make a class to pop to be public which is not compulsory if i like a class to be, can be private so if a class is public which is by default any other class can access this particular class. Then this particular code of block means public static void means string args. It means this application should run. It should bring out an output. So anytime you see public static void means string args, it is always the point of execution of your program. So I'll go to my projects. The staff management is supposed to be under my project now. You can see staff management. And it has just one class. So now to include other classes, I'll go to staff management, right click, new, Java. I want to include my JFrame. My JFrame is a frame that I will use to design the main interface just because it has a very good component that will assist me in my developmental stage. It has the minimize button the maximize and the cancel. So I'll go to JFrame form. So I'll give it any name I like. Let me call it the main interface. Main interface. Don't forget this can be any name. It's the class name, which means I'm creating another class in a staff management project. Click on finish. And there appears a JFrame form. JFrame form. I can expand it to any length I like. And the length I expand it to is the length that will appear when I'm running this particular application. Now, this JFrame form has two particular sections. We have the code section and the design section. Design section is a section I'm going to design my form. Then the code section is where I'm going to give it a lot of coding. So don't forget, once you click on the design section there appears at the right hand side what's known as palette and properties so 
we have the palette at the right hand side these are various components that you can use to design your form so we have the panel we have the scroll pane we have the top pane we have the toolbar we have the layout pane desktop pane and out of these swing containers i'm going to use my panel my toolbar desktop pane and we have the swing controls the swing controls are controls that are embedded in my swing containers I'm going to make use of the label, the button, checkbox, combo box, radio button, text field, button group, and the password field, my text field, my table, and my separator. These are what I'm going to use off in the design of this particular interface. Let me see my swing menus. I'm also going to use my menu bar, the menu, menu item. And at the bottom, we have the properties. Any particular control you click, click on, or swing menu or swing controls you click on, then the properties will appear at the right hand side. You can change the properties the way you like. So this is a brief explanation of my palette and the property uh, tab. Don't forget, we want to design the main interface. And the first thing we need to put on the main interface is known as the menu bar. So you can come here and double click. You drop the menu bar. You can see by default, we have two menus on my menu bar. We have the file menu and the edit menu. I can change this file menu to any name I like, just right click, click on edit text and change it to user, come to edit menu, right click, edit text and change it to staff. These two menus, for example the start user menu will give me a list of menu items that will indicate various operations on this particular interface. Then the staff menu will also contain menu items that will indicate some operations in this particular interface. So let's get started to put different menu item under the user menu. What you are going to do is very simple. Right click, add from palette. What do I want to I want to add a menu item. Come here again, right click. Add from palette, menu, item, right click, add from palette, menu, item, right click, add from palette, menu, item, right click, add from palette, menu, item, I think I need six, let me add the last one, right click, add from palette, then we have the menu, item let's go to the staff add from palette menu item i need five here add from palette menu item right click add from palette menu item right click add from palette menu item add from palette and the last one is what menu item so let me go ahead to rename all this particular menu item the first one I'm going to start with J menu item one. So in the next tutorial, I am going to continue with that. Thank you very much. Bye.